Hello, YouTubers. It's cold today. And I want to say God bless America. Uh, I discovered some new information for a long time. <clears throat> I have been using AV100 in, in my chainsaws. Um, and that has gotten really hard to get. And I knew that you guys couldn't, most of you wouldn't be able to get it because I was lucky to get it the times that I got it. But I have discovered something that is equal and easier for us all to, to obtain. So uh, that's why um, I'm here today to share that with you. So this represents the AV100 that I don't have. I have some to show you, but it's got oil in it, so it would do you no good because you wouldn't know what it actually looked like. So all three of these represent leaded gas. Unleaded gas is, is bad for small engines in my book. Um, the lead is also a lubricant. And in our kit saws, we need all the help we can get with that. Uh, I believe when, when I got the blue... Six sixty. I believe that I was using regular gas now uh, because I was out and I hadn't had time to go get it. When when, when that saw failed, uh, thinking back on it, so that's why all this is important. I'll tell you about the failure. It caught a ring, and uh, we know that the material they use uh, could be better and uh, that leads to, to problems period now if, if, if you go to the gas station and you fill up your gas can with the cheapest gas they got your saw is going to run hotter than it should. And when those rings get too hot, that they can catch. And I did not buy the cheapest gas. I, I, I buy unleaded regular, you know, uh, gas when I, you know, when I get to buying. Uh, and uh, I might have had to buy just plain premium. I I don't remember. I was cutting um, up a tree for a friend. The um, the tree had a bunch of um, bluebird boxes that had been nailed into it. And I remember having to stand on one side of it and look over the tree every time I made a cut to make sure that I wasn't running into that any of that hardware that had held those those bird boxes to that tree. And, and then the saw quit. Well, in in running this unleaded gas, my my temperatures are a little lower, uh, or this leaded yeah leaded gas. So I want to be sure that I s s say that correctly. Um, and. I'd, I'd been talking to my steel dealer. I, you know, I go in, I buy from him, and, you know, we talk. I, I bought a BR-800 from him not too long ago. Um, I'm, I'm not a bad customer. And uh buy a lot of parts, tools, etc. 
uh, and we were having a discussion about um, you know the fuel for the saws and he was saying yeah he said my customers he said they'll put the cheapest thing in there and it, and it burns them up um, and I said well you know I, I've been using AV100 and he just looked at me you know um, I guess he he knew that it was hard to get and so you know he, he didn't say anything about that um, but I kept trying to find a source for the for the gas, and I couldn't find one. So I started just looking for regular leaded gas, and that's that opened up a whole whole different set of doors for me, because um, I, I was really going at it from the wrong direction. They use leaded gas in race cars, and they have you know kind of like jet fuel or I don't know uh, I'm just interested in in feeding my small equipment the two cycle and actually uh, like I use it in my lawnmower as well because I don't I don't want to have to drain the fuel out of it all the time um, so um, back to the steel dealer. Um, I went in uh, after I discovered this. You know, I went in to talk to him, and I said, uh, "Did you know that you can buy this stuff by the, you know, the barrel, and and, and you could sell it?" He said, "Oh, I, he said I, I know that sucker didn't tell me um, that he already had." The, the, the stuff I, I don't understand understand that actually unless he was just using it inside his shop so that whenever he got in uh, new equipment sale he, he would put it in it and he didn't have to worry about if um, you know a, a chainsaw stayed in his inventory too long or a blower or weed eater or whatever I don't know how he's using it um, but I got on the telephone, uh, well, started with Google because I, I needed, I needed to find the companies that, that sold it a gas and he said he was using BP. Uh, well, I, I didn't see that. I, I, I found Sunoco. So just to let you know, there's different companies that sell this and, um, it's usually sold out of a barrel unless you go to like a racetrack. But I didn't go to a racetrack because I'm not really looking for race gas. I'm, I'm looking for leaded gas. And, a, and so I can speak about what I know, and that is Sunoco. So when, when I looked at, they had... I don't know, eight different kinds of fuel, maybe more, maybe less. I, I'm just, I don't remember exactly. And the, I wanted one that was most suitable to what I was doing. And and I kept reading, and I really couldn't tell. So there was one that stood out to me. It was called Standard. And it said that it was for classic cars. Well, these saws are classic. I mean, you know, they they were made during during the time that there was lead of gasoline, and so that would be most like that. Um, well, this standard I think is a hundred and hundred ten, and this surge is a hundred and five. This actually what it's called I think is standard, um, but this surge. They actually make that, well, they, they make it for the reasons I've already told you, but they also recommend it. It's specifically recommended for lawn equipment. And, you know, they say that they've made it yellow, you know, be easy to tell and so forth. So um, I bought uh, five gallons of this. I went back when I... You know, once I got this and I began to learn more and more about it, 
I decided that this surge is what I should be using all the time. Now this, I'll, I'll use every bit of that up, but uh, I'll go with surge from now on. And then I can, when I mix my oil in it, it comes out that color anyway. So I've just got to be careful um, in my handling of it, and I, and I am. Uh, but I can tell you that that, uh, that surge meets, checks off all the boxes for what we need. And it, and, and my saws love it. I mean, um, that's what we need to protect our, our, our carburetors, our, our rubber, and our rings, our saws in general, um, well, I think that's everything. I just wanted to share that with you, and, and if you if you get around to feeling like that's important. You should be able to find most everybody out of be able to go on the internet and you know there's BP, there's Sunoco, there's there's Gulf, there's different you know gas companies, and they're in different regions, but you know apparently this this race gas is is universal, and uh, you know they're allowed to sell it because it's. You know, they run it in those cars on the track, and that's off-road. They don't have no license plates on them. So, you know, there's there's no reason for them to not sell it to you. You go in and take your gas can and tell them how much you, you, you know, put in it, and off you go. Now, b before I hang up here, I need to tell you that it's... It's more than AV gas. I was paying five dollars a gallon for AV gas. This is double. This is ten dollars a gallon. And uh, but I don't, you know, I don't care. You know, you can take a. Uh, well, I wish I. Hold on a second. Now you go to buy this. And you're getting on up there. Um, I use uh, the 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 stuff that's doesn't have any oil in it. I, I had a couple cases of of this. This has mixed race fuel in it, <clears throat> but these are perfect to take out to go cut you you take um, you take this and fill it up with your mixed one of these will fill up a 660 um, I don't quite fill it up I'm like it's an ounce or two down and that can will be empty when I fill up that you know uh, my saw so you know you take um, four or six whatever you're gonna you know, ever how long you're going to be cutting, and it's convenient. Uh, it takes, I run it 32 to 1, uh, and uh, this is, takes an ounce. All I got to do is pour, I put a ounce of oil in that, inside that can. Now, I know everybody's got their own oil. I don't know if I've shown you. I swear by this stuff. I can I can take my muffler off of any saw I got, and you can look inside of it even months later, and uh, the piston will have uh, oil all over it. This stuff just like sticks like. A magnet to your um, it's great it's just 
great. All right, so th there's a road map to reducing the temperature of the engine, making it last longer, and uh, being happy with your fuel, not having to worry. Hey, this, uh, how old is this stuff, or how long was that set? You know, your you keep your lid on tight. That's real important on your gas can. Um, and you're golden. Well, thanks, friends. Be safe, and I, I hope you're healthy. More soon.